Morning folks, Friday morning. Thank you for your comments and likes and welcome new subscribers as usual. Massey Dave here. As you know, we do videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. So uh, yeah, we've got a bit of a problem to try and make today. Solve, sort out, battery box for that. So here we have the remains, rather sad looking remains of the two battery boxes. That's the lower one definitely seen better days so we're gonna try and make one of those and then there's the top one again not looking the best so we're gonna to have to uh, extract the hinge get that unseized with the help of uh, Mr Gas Torch to uh, save that bit we have a sheet of steel there to do a lot of careful measuring and folding to recreate a new one of those and those. I have made them before, but as you can see, straight on the piss. So yeah, it's uh, not quite straightforward, but we can do it. Well, we'll give it a go anyway. All right, well, we've measured the height of what we need there. So chop that bit off. Can't do that in the guillotine because the guillotine only goes back to the stop bar at 650 and I need 725. So we'll plasma that bit off and then put it in the guillotine, trim the edge up. Then we can start marking out, which I've got my measurements down there, of where we've got to put the folds and trim the shapes for the angles and hopefully get it folded up. Well, we got it marked out. Measure, 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 and more measuring. And then try and offer it up, make sure we got relevant angles right uh, I think we'll trim those corners off trim some of the excess but leave some here and then we'll get that fold put in then we can work to that one and check the measurements because obviously when you fold you're going to lose a little bit in the material <coughs> so we'll just work our way across as it goes. So just turn all the tooling around in the brake press. Just the thickness of the metal, which is three mil, you need a V that's eight times. So three eighths of twenty-four. So it's about an in, inch wide V to allow so you don't end up cracking the metal. So we turn it around, we work the measurements out to the backstop. So we're at a 210 mil height between the flat on the inside of the fold. So we've got a couple of little test pieces. Well I've got some thin bits cut, backstop set. So we'll put it in and try it and see if we end up with the right measurement. It's in and it's set. Screw it on the panel. Lift it up. Yeah, it's not quite 90, but just enough to measure in the moment. So we'll check the distance of that. I'd say that's pretty spot on. 210. The inside of the fold. So we know that first one is going to be right. Then we're going to work out the rest and say that one is on the angle. So we can't really use the backstop, so we should have a gauge it by eye. Well, we said we've got 210 there. We we'll double check the measurements from that to that. Double check the angles where we've got to chop that bit off, that bit off, and that bit. So I think the plan is now we'll put the back fold in that one. And then we do that one because it's going to be a job to do when that one's in there to get the reverse fold in because that lot will be in the way so we'll get that one done and hopefully that will come right or as close as well even if i say so myself i think i've got that pretty damn close to that no rusty bits in it so obviously we've got a few holes to get marked out and drilled that hinge to come off and free up and fit on there then we can get this tray welded in and then offer it up and see if it fits i think we'll, we'll say we'll get the hinge on fitted on at least we bolt it on then we can definitely line up where the holes are going to go for the studs on the chassis so we'll make a start on the uh, the bottom battery box cover tray so we've got marked out just oversize so we'll get the old plasma cutter on the go chop that bit out trim it up in the guillotine and fold it up to shape Apprentices up there somewhere. 
busy on the 135 doing something. Do a bit of welding. We've got a bit of space for the bottom one, or well, the basic shape of it anyway. What is that? You want to go to a video? He's over there making lots of that kit. Um, anyway, put all this back on. We'll place the rope seals and everything in there, and uh, yeah. I'm trying to clean bits up as I go, so when it goes to cleaning it before the paint, it's a lot easier to do to get the bits off that you can't reach when it's all back together. Um, I'm going to see what else I can get back on here today. Why is he always so noisy? looking good isn't it fold it up right dimensions so weld this tack it in place just pull those out just so they're square weld it up i think we'll uh, we'll chop that bit off reuse that and that plate make a new one which is the bent bit over there weld that on top that's then done sometimes you can't use one thing but at least you've got another tool there. Got the old box pan folder. Oh, uh, um, yeah, it's a little bit too mil for a thing on this bottom battery box. But it ain't gonna fit in the other one without changing all the tooling. So we'll go upstairs and use this one, which is a yeah old school box pan folder. All the fingers are removable. So we'll uh, get this one bent up in this one. Really? <clears throat> you need that to shove it in the hole, and then you get a bolt lined up, go in the other hole. So you've got to make use of every hole you've got yeah. to make life easy for yourself. I'm a bit stuck now. <laughs> ah, there's no hope. be so noisy all of the time. Have you got a, um, um, what's it, health and safety thing, working at height certificate? Yeah. Because it's quite high up in the air there, isn't it? Yeah. But then I am a lot taller than you, so it doesn't matter, because you're quite low to the ground. <laughs> 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 well, I was taking a bit of work this morning. Well, we've got it made, brackets taken off the old one, that one there and the other one, everything welded on. I just hope it's all going to line up and fit. So yeah, pleased with that. Just got that one to weld up now. Well, well, I never did. It actually fits on there. Pretty well first time. Surprising the time it's taken to make that, but at least it fits. So we'll weld the other bit up. Get the hinge sorted out and see if that fits on that. I've got the old hinge extracted off of the, uh, the old battery box. We'll get some heat on the go on this. See if we can get it freed up and moving. Uh, somebody's there working on the top cover. Just said, is there supposed to be a gasket to go on this? I went, yeah, it's right there. Where? There in that bag. Right in front of her. No hope. So now on with the tricky job. Putting the roller in. 
where it's got to go without dropping at it. I'm going to walk away and leave it to it and then wait for the cussing. Well, I am absolutely chuffed with that. The hinge works. It goes in. It locks onto there. That, well, somebody's making noise over there. That's been a, a good day's work. I've just got to take it off now and finish welding it up because I only tacked it on just to make sure it all fits. But from a rotten load of rubbish to something that looks like it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, good for a Friday. I actually got the roller in the hole first time. I didn't drop it or anything. Fitted in perfect. So it's good having a little hand sometimes. Well, that's all welded up. And the last three holes drilled in it. Oh, that's been a good job done. Anyway, Prentice, what have you been up to? You've got it all on. Yeah. Right, you got that right in there. I have. You got the roller in? Yeah. Oh, well done. It's all in. All fits perfect. Bloody marvellous. Just giving it a good clean up once I can get to a lot of it. And yeah. Super duper. All we need is the, the tool I'm having made up. We can put the clutch together then the engine can go on then you can do the front timing case cover then can't you yeah. well it's been a bloody good week this week lots done been a bloody good week all round, really so we've had a trip into uh into wells see the boys old uh elvis tony and co they've made me up a shaft Ooh, look at that bet you can't guess what that is all specific measurements for a certain job job for monday Folks, saturday morning lovely sunshine out got the bits i made yesterday gonna give them a bit of a shot blast and uh, hopefully get them primed and painted today uh, as always welcome to you new subscribers thank you very much um yeah let's get this all sorted and hung up ready to paint well i've got these bits blasted up uh, hung up and a good coat of primer on them I've got to do a fiddling away with a couple of other little bits in a minute. And hopefully that'll be dried off. And get some red paint on these bits. And they can be fitted on Monday out the way. But yeah, that's uh, brand new battery boxes for 1250 there. Uh, as for this tool we had made, this will fit in that clutch plate. Then that bit there will fit in that clutch plate and then the end bit fits in the spigot bearing so it's kind of a homemade clutch alignment tool I think outside the box you can probably buy expensive stuff but get something machined up should do the job I could put the clutch on but I'll get in trouble so I better leave that one today yeah a nice bit of red paint all mixed up ready to go two to one with a bit of thinners, five to ten percent's worth. So that's had a good mix. So we'll get that in the gun and go and put it on. Well, that's two coats of red on that. I've got to have a quick cup of coffee and come back, get the last coat on, which is a bit thinner, with a bit more thinners, and that should come out nice and shiny. Well, not too bad at the moment. All right, for a Saturday morning. So he's, uh, hadn't even got these made, well, yesterday. Well, that's those uh, painted up now. Oh, look, I think that's a pretty good finish. He notices the camera the wrong way around. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna tidy up, get out of here. Now that ain't a bad finish, is it? That's uh, going the right way around. Oh dear, looking good. Get those fitted back on tomorrow hit the all subscribe button nearly up to three and a half thousand subscribers so yeah thank you all be uh, nice to get numbers up but hey ho if you don't like what we're doing you don't have to watch it but thank you for those that do so hopefully next week we'll have uh set engine there back on that and uh, see what the week brings then uh i've got a visitor coming on tuesday stroke wednesday coming all the way from sweden so that should be a laugh so in the meantime, as I said, enjoy your weekend, take it steady, 
Catch you later.